Shalom and welcome once again to our episode of Living Supernaturally. Today we're looking at how we enjoy some privileges of being a child of God, of being the children of God. It is a humbling honor to have access to God. And let's look at this further by reading scripture from Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So as a child of God, we have this great privilege because as a result of being this child, we can have a new relationship, an intimate relationship with God, an ongoing access with Him, a deep intimacy with Him. So we do not have to run away from God and or hide from Him, but instead we can boldly go to Him and call Him Abba Father. So as we have seen in this verse, the, the term that we use, Abba Father, there are different names in scripture that are used to describe God. But this seems to be the most significant one because of the way that it expresses the way God relates to us. This name, Abba Father, is one of the most significant names of God and you find it three times written in scripture. This word, Abba, is an Aramaic word that means Father. And Abba is always followed by the word Father in scripture. And together, these terms, Abba and Father, doubly emphasize the parenthood, the fatherhood in God, in two different languages, but we are assured of His care and of His love for us as His children. Now, it is a common term that we may use, maybe at our homes, we call our, our fathers, our daddies in some way, and we understand that this expresses affection, it expresses confidence and trust in our father. Abba signifies that close relationship of a father and his child. The Bible reveals that all of creation is under the authority and the lordship of God and can be and it will be judged by him. But it is only the right of a child of God who can call him Abba Father. And this is something only a born-again Christian enjoys. Now, part of this relationship is that God deals with us differently um, as, as family. Now, because of this relationship we have, this the access that we have, we have been adopted into a family and we are forever in this family of God. Because of the access we have, we can approach Him at any point of time. We can approach His throne of grace with confidence and receive every help and mercy we need. And we also have access to Him directly. We do not need a mediator. We do not need anyone to stand in between us to gain access to Him. Our access is effective because the Lord always hears our prayers. What a privilege to know that you and I can call our God, Abba Father, and have access to Him at all times. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are in such gratitude to know that you have given us the privilege to come to you no matter what. And Lord, to come to you like a child to a father with open arms, you receive us. Father, may we, in as children, Lord, enjoy the privilege we have to approach you and to come to you to build our intimacy with you because you desire to build our relationship with us. May we do so today, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.